boating, SS Cumrig, a passenger steamship of the White Star Line, is portrayed in Cork Harbour, Ireland. Known as one of the world's deepest harbours, it enabled the town of Queenstown, now known as Cove, to display all its glorious colours just beyond the ship. The year is 1914 and the nearly completed steeple of St. Colman's rises up high above the town. Sixteen bells were just installed with more to come. World War I is about to commence and before the end of the year the SS Cumrig was refitted as a troop ship. The terminal offices of White Star Line can be viewed to the very far left of the harbourscape. It was here in Queenstown 1912 that passengers arranged to be ferried out to board RMS Titanic where she sat, anchored at Roaches Point. To the front left, two men can be seen rowing a Currick, a rowing boat singular to the west coast of Ireland. The design dates far back in time. Used primarily for fishing and transport, it was constructed originally as a wood frame covered with animal skin. Later builds were covered in canvas. In the background to the right a small working schooner is anchored, her sails lowered, perhaps awaiting last-minute passengers. Jim's paintings can be viewed throughout the world in galleries, museums, ships, private collections, books and magazines. Some of his earliest displayed works appear on board USS New Jersey where he served as quartermaster during Vietnam. In April of 2012, he sailed on board MS Balmoral for her Titanic memorial cruise. Southampton, Cove, Halifax, New York. During the voyage he painted the RMS Titanic at sea. Passengers would pass by his workstation in the atrium and follow his progress. For additional information about the artist, and to see samples of his work, visit jamesaflood.com.